So, on the minimap in the bottom right corner, we have, of course, the castle entrance, which is in that center in the north. Then, right to this one, we have the entrance of Kakariko. And the one extension in the middle on the right side is the forest entrance. And then there is this one in the middle of them, where the river comes from, which is the path to Zora's domain, aptly named Zora's River. So that's where we're guessing how we get to Zora's domain, right? Hello, Owl. Come on, I wanted to bonk against the tree. Hoo hoo, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Gilga. It's like five minutes ago that you've seen me last time, come on! Just ahead lies Sora's domain. The Soras serve Hyrule's loyal family, royal family by protecting this water source. But they don't protect anything on the river itself, right? They only protect, like, the spring. Whatever. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Don't they, like, trade or anything? Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Ooh, I don't really think you have to say that to me. If there is a Triforce emblem on the ground or whatever, I'll just play this song and that's it. Now this beautiful guy over here eats his own beans. And if you speak to him, he will sell them to us. Jump, jump, jump. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't eat all of them, you know. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Yeah, sure. Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with seed. Then wait for something fun to happen. Like seven years. You have to wait. Now you can plant beans in all of these soft soil spots. Of which there are 10 in the world. Now that we have bought some magic beans from him, he is like, oh, wait a second, my... Capitalist mind is racing and someone bought my beans, so of course I can sell the next beans for more money. And now he's like, well, they're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees for one piece? Yes, of course, give me more. Of course, you can only use the magic beans for one patch of soil. And now he's like, dum, dum, dum. they are getting to be quite popular. And the more of the beans you buy, each of them will always be 10 rupees more expensive than the last one. So if you want to buy all of them, you have to pay 450 rupees. Quick math on stream. Yeah, so it's 4 times 100 and plus 50, so it's 450 rupees, yeah. Which is quite a lot. Especially as long as we only have the, the smallest wallet. And yeah, I'll take this chicken with me because there's two heart pieces we can get in Zora's River. And the only thing we need to do that is a chicken. A cuckoo, sorry. Unfortunately, well, this first chicken we need to get to this ledge over here. We need to get to this ledge over here because as you can see, once we're in the water we cannot get up there. That was a that was a typical Gilganos. Now the Ocarina songs are one of the things that make this game that great. It's just one of the details, right? It's just so many details that make that are composed together that make this game great. And the brilliant music from the songs that you can play with the ocarina is just one of them. And especially the adult songs, so all of the teleport songs, are really beautiful and really well composed, I think. Oh, I just, I just realized that we skipped the other piece of art, damn it. Well, of course, you can also do it the way I just did. Unfortunately, you cannot take, you cannot climb the ladder, ladder while holding the chicken, so I have to release it down here. Don't worry, it will, as you can see, it will randomly run around, and once it touches water, it will just go straight ahead, and once it touches the wall, it will just fly straight to heaven. I don't know. So it probably dies. Uh, yeah, now that I think about all of this stuff in this game, this is pretty dark. Oh, the rupees down here.
I do want to drink my milk because I do want to have strong and durable bones. Also, at some point in this game, I would like to be a grown up and we have to drink our milk so that we grow up healthy and then I can catch this fish in a bottle. I actually only need the fish. I could also uh, catch a fish in Sora's domain, but I always. I sometimes forget that, so. Do it here. Now I can fly to the other hard piece over there. And then you would usually pick it up again so that you can take it upriver and up the creek. Well, it is, it is a river, not the creek. And then you could do what I just did with the first one. So it was actually pretty good that I did it. They did it with the first one because I was too slow to catch the second one again. Now, right behind this, right behind this waterfall, as you can see, there is a cave, which is the entrance to Sora's domain. And I misspoke because there is no Triforce emblem here. But if you read it, it says "Sleepless Water." Wow. Sleepless waterfall. The flow of this waterfall serves as the king of Hyrule. When the king slumbers, so too do these falls. So instead of just having the Triforce symbol down there, they this time try to nudge you into the right direction by giving you lyrical hints. Okay, we'll just play a lullaby then. Then maybe the waterfall falls asleep. The water falls asleep. <laughs> Talking about water, always remember to stay hydrated. Zora's Domain! Wow, that's a useful sign. I guess you could build a nice luxury hotel resort here. If the water's warm enough. Zora Shop! We have fresh fish. Oh yeah, um, as I said before, later on we will need a fish and probably if you read this sign and then go into this shop and you think, oh yeah, I need a fish, so let's just buy it from the shop. And then you come here and then you see uh, the fish costs 200 rupees. You can literally, literally just go out to the shop to the left with a bottle in hand and catch like six fish over here. I think it's five. That's five. And then sell them for 200 rupees over here. I mean, that's how you make money, right? If they sell anything. Who are you? I could ask the same of you. We are the Soras, the proud aquatic people. So you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be in here, it seems, if I didn't. Well, what do you want from us? I want your money, your life and your soul, please. Dumb questions? Ask for dumb answers. Sorry. And you can always try. So up here is the throne room, I guess you could call it. King Zora's throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamation, stand on the platform and speak to him. Uh, but I, if I want to s hear something, why do I have to speak? Oh, 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 my dear sweet princess Ruto, where has she gone? I'm so worried. That was an interesting proclamation, I guess. You don't have anything else to say. Okay, so it appears we have to find Princess Ruto. We can't even bring up our topic of the spiritual stone of water to him, because he's so worried about his daughter, who was probably grounded and find some, found some way out to sneak into that high school party, or whatever. Hi dive practice spot, are you confident in your diving skill? I'm an ADC, I don't really dive into the opponent team, so not really, no. Diving game, 20 rupees, want to play? Wow, that's, that's a very good explanation of what there is to do, sure. Okay! Oh, that comes. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. That's what they always tell us. Why can't you just say what we'll get if we win before you charge us? That's how it works in the real world, usually. 
Start! Start to! And that's the first one. Nice. That was a beautiful jump dive, I have to say. Head on. Pretty courageous little boy. If you think about that he just like lived his whole life in the forest and probably hasn't really see, seen any deep water in the forest. So he's a pretty good diver and swimmer. Poor children of the forest, poor child of the forest. Hey, congratulations, I've got something very nice for you, come and get it. And now I have to... It would be funny if I could like do it like a like a salmon, I think, a salmon the fish that can swim up waterfalls. Or isn't it in Mayura's mask where you also can do that if you wear the Sora mask? But no, I have to go, I have to go the long way around. Of course. Do you have any anything to say about my diving skills? No. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if he actually re actually realizes we're here. He's just staring holes into the air. Also, his eyes are pretty pretty big. Maybe he's on drugs or something. What a graceful dive! Now please, take this. This is a scale of her kind. With this you can dive much deeper under the water. That's convenient. You got the silver scale! Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Now there's also, if you were looking at the surroundings, you probably saw the non-lit torches in the base on the base level. So let's light them up and see what happens. Should be another hard piece, I guess. If you time it correctly, Link will, as you just saw, Link will draw the sword while the lighting up animation of the torch is playing. Which uh, makes it impossible, of course, for your stick to burn during the cutscene, because that is actually possible. What is it? Oh, it is. Alright, uh, we already have a fish. Oh yeah, uh, first of all, now we're desperate and we don't know where to go, so what we could be doing is, first of all, talk to all of the inhabitants of Sora's domain. Okay. I'm not smelling that bad, right? We Zoras also have the Great King Zora. Makes sense, I guess. Are there more invisible fish around here? There is one. It's funny how you see the, the bubbles in the water, but not the Zora itself. We haven't found Princess Ruto, even though some of us have searched as far as Lake Hylia. Of course, whenever you see like a colored name of some place in one of the dialogues, you know, ah, probably I should go there. So Lake Hylia is probably where we want to go. We are good at diving, how about you? I'm pretty okay-ish. If you want to be a master diver, try the diving game at the top of the waterfall. Have you tried it already? Yes, I did. I already won. It's funny because when you first enter Sora's Domain, it looks so empty. Uh, but it's just because all of the NPCs are not loaded. I didn't even know that there are quite a few of them around. It's funny though that Princess Ruto is the only one who actually looks female. So is it like with ants? Where only there's just one... Well, it's not really a queen since they have a king, of course. Also, the king looks remarkably different than all of the other Soras. But it's like with ants, where there's just one female and all of the others are... Well, that's not true, because with the ants, all of the ants are... Well, not all of them, but 99% of the ants are female. And only a few of them are male. It's just the queens that usually only are fertile, right? All of the water in Hyrule flows from Sora's fountain. Wow. Okay, now, now I get why they have to protect it. If it is. Wait, 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 wait. So, so the water we're just swimming in right now is the water that every single being in Hyrule drinks from and cooks their soups from and whatever. And I have not yet seen a single toilet in Sora's domain. Just saying. That water flows through Sora's river, which eventually reaches Lake Hylia to the south, so we can basically just follow the water, right? Yeah, okay, so what you could do now is we just go uh, all of the long way from... That's interesting, Lake Hylia doesn't even have a blinking dot. It's, it's now on the map, it wasn't before, but it doesn't blink. But Sora's domain is still blinking, interesting. But of course, since we're of the explorative kind, when we first entered Sora's domain, 
we immediately recognized this hole down there. And because we didn't have the scale before, we couldn't actually reach it. But now that we have the scale, we can dive deeper than we could before, so we can now reach it. And that's just what we do. And suddenly, we're at Lake Hylia. Now it's probably been quite a long time of underwater road, uh, water traveling, underwater traveling from Zora's domain all the way down to Lake Hylia. So I guess Link really can hold his breath quite long. What do you have to say? I am Zora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. Yeah, I mean, if you if you look like three meters to your right, there's this. Uh, bottle in the water, of which for some reason bubbles are rising, as if it would have air inside, or whatever. And so I did see something, something strange, but apparently you don't see it, so I'll just dive for it. You got an empty bottle! Put something inside, press... what? Something's already inside? Wow. Game, please. Hey, we already have three bottles. Interesting. Letter! So it's a, a letter puzzle. Huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you... Uh, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Yabo Yabo's belly, Ruto. So Princess Ruto seems to be in some Lord's belly. Well, I guess since she's a Sora, she's kind of a fish, so should... so... some... But he probably, like, cooked her. And then she wrote a letter after she has been cooked. Well, probably not. P.S. Don't tell my father, really. Why not? Well, that's exactly the thing we're going to do, so joke's on you. What are you doing? You've come a long way to get up here. You should look at the map subscreen sometimes. Well, I, I know why I'm here. This is a beautiful lake full of pure, clear water. I highly doubt that knowing from where this comes from and what happens in this water. At the lake bottom there is a water temple, used to worship the water spirits. The Soras are guardians of the temple, hoo hoo. The Soras come from Sora's domain in northeast Hyrule. An aquatic race, they are longtime allies of Hyrule's royal family. I heard that only the royal family of Hyrule can enter Sora's domain. I've already been there and I'm not really royal family, so that's already disproven. Hoo hoo. I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talents. No, please not. I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor. Uh, I'm a professional gaming player. No, I'm not. Well, I guess I'm better at gaming than probably at what I'm doing professionally, so... Hmm. But unfortunately, the definition of being a professional is not if you're good at something, but if you are being paid for doing it. So basically, if somebody says he's a professional, they're a professional, it doesn't mean that what they're doing is good. It just means you have to pay them for it. And dive. But of course, it's not necessarily you that you have to pay them. But somebody has to pay them something. Or they wouldn't be a professional by definition. And they technically also might not even receive any money right now, but just have received any money for doing whatever they say they are a professional in, in the past. Being nitpicky today. Now I don't want to show my beans to the king, I want to show his daughter's letter to him. Oh my dear sweet princess Ruta, where has she gone? She's in the belly of Lord Yabu Yabu. Oh, this letter, it's from Princess... 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 Princess Ruto. Mm, let's see, she's inside Lord Yabu Yabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Yabu Yabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Yabu Yabu has been a little green around the guilds. Well, I can see a pattern here. Seeing that Ganondorf also visited Deku Tree before his demise and also appeared in Dodongo's cavern and actually like right after he was there the, Do the Dodongos came back right and he sealed that's that's a little strange hmm? if I remember correctly Ganondorf was once seeding the cavern of Dodongo's cavern off to prevent the Gorons from eating the stones in Dodongo's cavern but 
if he sealed it off, why did he also like revive the, the, the Dodongos in the cavern? Well, I guess two locks are better than one lock, but yeah, whatever. The evidence seems clear. Objection! Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through there, here, to the altar of Lord Yabu Yabu. Why don't you go? Why do I have to go? I'm a stranger to this race. I keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Wow, it's a bottle. I only have two more of those. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Sora? Oh yeah, let's see. Yeah, so how's your family been the last time? Got anything interesting to talk about while we're waiting for the red herring to move to the side? Actually, you know, it's it's, it's all right. Just stay like you are. It's 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 the there isn't enough of a of a way for me to go through. I'm I'm not that large, you know. He could fit through there. Why is he send he's is he sending us? I, I guess he's just lazy. I'm pretty sure he could fit through there. And also he's a fish. He should be like pretty slick from by nature, right? Whatever. 